Hello and welcome back to the program. Well, as you can tell by the background, we are now in our Okaloosa County studio. We're going to talk about events taking place along the Emerald Coast. Uh, first of which is going to be with the Boys and Girls Club of the Emerald Coast. And joining me to talk about some of the events and happenings they have here are Shervin Rasa and Bert Little. Thank you both so much for being on the program Thank today. You for having Thank us. you for having us. Absolutely. Uh, Shervin, let's, let's kind of start off with the Boys and Girls Club overall. and Give me an overview of, of the areas you guys serve and the types of programs that you offer to the kids in the area. Sure. We're a three county, eight club organization. We provide services for kids from five to 18 uh, years old, school age kids from kindergarten and 12th grade in Escambia, Okaloosa, and Walton counties. Uh, we provide, uh, our three priority outcome areas are academic success. We wanna make sure kids are, are doing well in school, that we're helping them out with homework, that they're able to stay on grade with their, with their peers and, mm -hmm. and graduate high school on time. Uh, healthy lifestyles that we're teaching kids to, to respect their bodies and be good stewards of, of healthiness for themselves and their peers. And then my favorite is good character and citizenship that we're raising morally sound young people. How do people get involved? How, how can somebody sign uh, up their child? Anybody can. Uh, our clubs are open as long as kids are registered in school, also homeschooled kids or, mm -hmm. or kids that go to private schools as well too. Uh, just come into one of our clubs and meet with our directors or program directors and, and it's easy as that. And obviously all your clubs are very busy and a lot going on, especially, you know, after school programs, summer programs and, and everything. So Bert, you run the, the Destin uh, uh, Club, correct? Correct. Tell me a little bit about that club and, and kind of give us an update on, you know, what all you guys do out there and kind of how you benefit the kids in that, in that community. We are, we like Sherman says, we run from five years old to ours, we go 13 years old. Mm -hmm. We don't have high school, we have Destin Elementary, Destin Middle School. Um, same three priority outcome areas, but our biggest thing is our academic success as well as our commitment to the community as far as um, community service hours. What uh, are some of the types of programs that are projects that they do to, to um, those community service hours? We had hours? a big um, push with Food for Thought this year with their Stock the Pantry contest. Mm -hmm. Even though we didn't win, they taught our kids to give back, to give to others. And bottom line is, friend of mine put it out, service to, other, yeah. service to others. And our kids are very, very diligent with that. They work real hard with Food for Thought. We work with um, Harvest House. We work with a lot of other local mm -hmm. nonprofits as well as Maddie Kelly Arts Foundation. Um, our biggest, our fun, most fun program this year is a digital arts program where we're actually teaching kids how to actually use a real camera, not just pointing clicks, but not cell phones. Not just a cell phone. <laughs> not just a cell phone. <laughs> but um, we went with Cam um, Canon Rebel T6s, mm -hmm. and the kids are having a blast with it, but our kids love helping others. Yeah. And we're, as Sherman says, the morally sound kids, I believe we're developing that. And we have a big impact with the 200 kids we have per day. 200, how does, that's a lot of kids. Yeah, that's a, lot, a of lot, kids. lot of kids. <laughs> it's a lot of moving around, a lot of no man, nomad type mentality. Um, yeah. As long as we have space and a hard service, our kids are happy. That, that, yeah, that, good for you guys putting up having 200 <laughs> kids a day. Uh, but to do that, and you know, that's just one club in Sherman, you said three county area, so y'all have a lot of clubs and obviously to do all this type of stuff you need funding and you need to have fundraisers yeah. uh, one of which you guys have coming up in November tell me uh, what's on tap this there. is our fifth annual stake and we've changed the name to steak s-t-a-k-e mm. a lot of a lot of people thought we spelled steak wrong but it's taking <laughs> steak in young people's futures and burger event um, and it is our 50th year anniversary this year as an organization wow. so we brought in a, a pretty big name uh, Hulk Hogan uh, also his real name, I guess, is Terry Balea, uh, a WWE, WWF legend, you know, one of the, the Hulkster, the Hulkamaniacs all out there. Uh, we'll be speaking at our event on November 8th at the Hilton Sandestin. Uh, the really neat part of this is Hulk Hogan is a former club kid out of South Tampa um, with the Tampa organization. He just got inducted into our uh, Boys and Girls Clubs of America Alumni Hall of Fame back in cool. May. Uh, and I believe he got he's back in the WWE Hall of Fame. And so uh, a big figure like that that's going to be out there to talk to our patrons that are going to be there. And also a great message. He's going to talk to some of our kids while he's here, too. That is great. And now, how can people get tickets if they want uh, uh, to get involved? Go, go to our website. Go to our Facebook page. Um, we just now have started working. Uh, we have a resource development vendor that works with us called the Hive Creative Consulting Group. They'll mm -hmm. be able to help you out, get tickets. 
Uh, we, I think we're almost out of VIP tables, but we have a lot of general admission uh, available, and it's going to be an awesome event. I'm totally excited about the message that, that Hogan's going to have for, for our community. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a great event. Obviously, you know, definitely encourage people to, to attend, especially, you know, if you're a child of the, the 80s like I was yeah. growing up with Hulkamania. <laughs> uh, I know I will be there. Uh, but it's hard to believe. Already talking about Christmas, and we got about 30 seconds left. I do yeah. want to mention your uh, Christmas concert coming yeah, up. Yeah, we have. It's going to be our first annual one at our South Walton Club mm -hmm. in uh, South Walton County. It's going to be the very little Merry Christmas uh, concert, some local celebrity or local bands and musicians that'll be out there. It'll be a great evening for you to come out and, and, and enjoy the evening and, and support our organization. Like is that course. a ticketed event as well? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, thank you both so much for coming on the show. Thank really you. appreciate it. Good us. luck with the event and thank you. have fun with those 200 kids. Oh, yes, thank sir. <laughs> Stay with us. When we come back, we'll be joined by Hope to the Coast.